My name is Elise Cody, and I'm the food pantry coordinator at Benton House. The really important part about advocacy for me is um, simultaneously meeting immediate needs, but also working to address kind of the root causes behind these problems um, and looking for more long-term solutions. If we're looking to build more healthy communities in the long term, that means doing advocacy work. My name is Stephen McCullough and I'm Vice President of Community Partnerships here at the Greater Chicago Food Depository. What struck me the most and what will stay with me out of that experience is uh, the fearlessness of our champion advocates. And so people who never have done this before and engaged legislators in going to Capitol Hill and going to the Senate offices and being able to look at people straight in the eye and let them know what um, their constituents are experiencing on a daily basis. That's what will always stick in my mind. My name is David Tatum. I work for Affirming Community Services. I am the Emergency Service Coordinator and Youth Group Worker. I learned that hunger comes in any shape, size, color. It's not just a situation for big cities. It happens in small rural cities as well. As an advocate, we must always try to speak up and speak out for the people that we serve whether it be in our community or outside of our community. I'm Sarah Greenberg and I'm the Health Programming and Pantry Coordinator at Ezra Multi-Service Center in Uptown. We met with um, the Legislative Director for Jan Schakowsky. At the end of the meeting, her staff thanked us for coming and he said, um, you know, I know we're all on the same side, but I know that you're watching us. I felt like we were we were playing an important advocacy role and like applying the pressure and also showing that we this is really, really important to us and that we're not going to let up. My name is Kate Mayer and I am Executive Director and CEO of the Greater Chicago Food Depository. For me, the most powerful moment of all was uh, sitting in Congresswoman Robin Kelly's office. I was completely taken aback when Yolandia went off of the script a little bit. And instead of just talking about the agency that she works at, she started to talk about herself and it was a personal story about her own experience struggling with hunger and she told it in a way that was so personal and so magnificent and everybody sitting in the room, um, including the congresswoman's chief of staff, we were just all overcome. That's what the promise of coming to Washington DC is about. It's not just a chance to see our nation's capital and a chance to talk about the hunger issue. It's actually the chance to raise our voices and make change happen.